Well, a very good evening to you and welcome to one of my beer reviews. Right, okay, it's time to review a beer which uh, I was given to me by uh, my better half, actually, uh, as a birthday present. Uh, she bought me a little sort of pack of different beers which she picked up from, uh, not really knowing sort of beers that I like, uh, but she sort of grabbed a few and sort of gave them to me as a present. So, um, and to be fair, the ones she's picked up have been pretty good. And um, this one uh, I've never had before, and it's basically this stuff. It's Shipyard Rye Pale Ale, which has been dry hopped with Amarillo and Citra for a tropical fruit aroma. Okay, the beer itself comes in at 4.3 ABV, which is about right for a pale ale. So, um, now Shipyard. Okay, now Shipyard are an American brewery. They are based in Portland in Maine, and they've been around for donkey's years. They've been around since about 1992, so in the craft beer world, that's, that, that's eons. And... Um, yeah, for I don't know how long it has been now, but it must be probably not far off 10 years that their beers have been brewed in this country under licence by Marston's. And uh, I'll be honest, the shipyard beers that I've tried that have been brewed by Marston's, I have been overly enamoured by. Um, I tried um, a stout of theirs a couple of years ago, and it was fizzy. You know, I, mean, I don't mind carbonation in a beer, but it was almost fizzy like a can of Coke. It was ridiculously over carbonated and it clearly wasn't natural carbonation from fermentation in the bottle it was it was artificial and i have no idea why they decided to carbonate artificial carbonate a stout it was ridiculous and it was just it was awful but um but okay fair enough um i mean their beers are widely available uh, under the name shipyard in the uk i think weatherspoons had their ipa on a regular basis i mean i, I don't know i don't generally go in weatherspoons um but let me tell you a little bit about this beer. Uh, it's named after the Maine Black Bear, which is obviously native to that part of the world. And uh, it's, it's brewed as a homage to this fruit-loving American native. Fair enough. Brewed with rye crystal malt, shipyard rye. Uh, has a spiced, nutty uh, taste balance with caramel toffee flavours. Uh, it's packed full of American hops. Uh, and the Amarillo, Citra, Cascade and Summit combined for an upfront punchy orange aroma and lingering citrus twang. Wow. Um, it sounds divine, doesn't it? And all the hops they've used are stunning hops as well. I mean, Summit are, are gorgeous. Uh, citrus hops are probably one of my favourite hops ever. They're beautiful. I mean, US Cascade are stunning as well. I mean, it sounds brilliant. Uh, <laughs> I know I sound apprehensive, I just haven't had a good shipyard beer yet. But, oh, and the other thing as well, they've used rye in the beer. And that isn't a bad thing, but you need to be really, really careful when you brew with rye. Because you can very easily use too much and just make the beer taste so overpowering of rye uh, that it basically nothing else comes through in the flavour. But anyway, I don't want to sound dismissive. It may be a cracking beer, but... Um, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's get this open and let's see what happens. Okay. Right, let's get it in the glass. Okay, that's pouring quite nicely. Yeah, okay. Right, that's pouring with pretty good carbonation. Got a two finger head going on there. Nice colour, nice sort of auburn colour. Not really a pale ale colour, it was a bit more like a best bitter really. Um but okay, let's not let's not <laughs> let's not be negative. But it's a rye beer, so arguably the rye will give it a slightly sort of darker colour. Um if it's been used properly, of course. Um but yeah, okay. The carbonation has pretty much gone from the beer, but the head is still there. Um oh I can I can smell not quite sure what, but there's definitely an aroma coming from the beer already. But um, well, let's go in with the nose. Mm. I have to say, there's a lovely citrus twang coming from it, actually. Um, I can really smell some oranges there. And um, mm. Mm. yeah, I can smell, smell the hoppiness, uh, but really lovely sort of lemon sort of real zesty orangey sort of aroma coming from the from the from the nose on that. Yeah, it smells good actually. Alright, well let's um oh let's go in with the taste. Cheers. Um, 
yeah do you know what that's all right that's not bad um it's not going to set the world you know set the world alight you know um, but it's okay um can't really taste the rye too much but you're getting you are getting a tropical fruit sort of flavor from it you are which they're saying you should get from the hops you're definitely getting that big oranges there's big lemons there um but to be honest it's a sort of beer which would do well from being refrigerated uh, and i haven't refrigerated this because generally sort of real ale bottles i don't normally stick in the fridge to be fair I normally just stick that with the craft beers um but that would definitely benefit from being chilled um but saying that, not being chilled, it, it's okay, you know. That's actually quite pleasant. Let's go in again. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'd happily drink that. That's nice. That's a lovely beer. Um, I'm not really tasting all those hops in there. Or they're not, well, I don't think they've used... A hell of a lot of them because the beer doesn't come across like that, that way at all it's, it's quite subtle in its flavor um, but then you know the ABV is only 4.3 so it's a sessionable beer um, but yeah you know do you know what that there's is, that is that's a good beer you know there's nothing wrong with that at all here it is again shipyard rye pale ale dry hops with citra and um, what was it again Amarillo hops Coming in a 500ml bottle, a 4.3 ABV. Shipyard, obviously brewed under licence by Marston's. It's not the shipyard from Maine, Portland in Maine. Um, but it's good, you know. It's it's not bad, it's a good beer. Uh, would I drink it again? Yeah, I would, you know. Yeah, I definitely would, you know. it's. I wouldn't rush out and buy another bottle of it, but if I saw that on cask or on keg even, yeah, I'd drink it. Yeah, it's all right. So what would I give? Shipyard Rye Pale Ale. Uh, guys, it's a 7 out of 10 beer. It's a 7 out of 10. It's it's alright, you know. It's not bad. It's not stunning, but it's not bad. <laughs> I think that's pretty much all I can say about it. But anyway, thank you very much for listening and uh, all the best. Cheers. Goodbye.